Sometimes a player has to make a choice between family and the game they love. I'm currently separated, and uh, that poker is, is the major issue. Um, the, she doesn't know if I'm going to come home at night. She doesn't like the fact that I play too long or, you know, uh, uh, my dedication to it. And, and like you said, you know, you don't want to uh, use your mortgage money to, to play poker. And, and sometimes because I'm a gambler nat uh, by nature, you know, I, there would be times I, I would feel like I was willing to risk uh, money maybe we didn't have at the time because I knew I was good enough to do it. And she, you know, she always believed in me, but um, there was always the unknown. And, and, and when you have kids, uh, you're kind of the degenerate of society, I guess, uh, to, to risk something like that. And, and uh, my entrepreneurial spirit just kind of makes me want to take that chance. And, uh, and, and I have. Actually, I've been playing poker you know, even before I met my wife. So she knows very well what is poker. And we got married um, after I became a professional. So it's not like, you know, poker killed me, you know. My spouse at the time didn't mind. I mean, I worked 40 hours a week and then I played it as a hobby. But, you know, once I won the World Series, obviously everybody supported it. And I went back to work because I wanted steady income, you know, 2.5 million is nice, but it doesn't let you retire. After nine months, I left and wanted to become a full-time professional poker player. My wife at the time didn't like the idea. She wanted to be with a steady stay-at-home guy, not someone that travels around the world playing poker. So, you know, I had to make a choice, and it's not a choice I like to make, but we got a divorce. Gambling takes an awful lot of time away from your family if you're going to have a family. And second of all, the money aspect of it is that when you, 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 you go to different uh, extremes, you have winning sessions and losing sessions. My wife had left me and, and you know, pretty much uh, my mom rejected me and, you know, pretty much everyone rejected me, you know, because it's that, uh, you know, that degenerate gambling mentality and, and I just told myself I was going to do it. She strongly encouraged me to do it because she sees potential in me. She knows that I'm a very good player. I'm an excellent player, and I'm, I will be a top player. Every family situation is different, but I've known a lot of uh, people with meteoric success, you know, um, that, that go from nothing, and they win a big tournament, you know, and, and suddenly there's a lot of pressure, and they feel like they have to go pro, and they feel like, you know, that they, wanna, they want to experience that rush and sensation again over and over in their lifetime when in fact it may never happen to them again. A year later, I married another woman that supports me and we have a great life. She understands what I do and lets me do what I need to do. Sure, they accept me, you know. Everybody likes to talk about poker now that it's so popular. You know, I have, I have uh, cousins who never played the game who just watch on TV and, uh, you know, and know all the pros just from watching on TV. I could told my wife, I spoke to her, I said, you know, I can give this up here. I love you very much. I love my kids. And at the same time, I feel like I want to do this for them as well. She has a deep understanding on statistics. She believes in it. You know, she believes that poker is a game of skill. It's not a game of, you know, mere chance with a negative expected value. I would definitely teach my kids poker because if someone taught me at a younger age to manage emotions, to manage the money, to manage your time, to manage the way you play. I don't think I would have had years and years and years and years of losses <laughs> instead of learning it the hard way. I mean, I went to the school of hard knocks, busted, uh, homeless in my car, you know, uh, things like that. And, you know, uh, I guess that they wouldn't have the hard knocks if they, if they start off knowing the fundamentals right off the bat. It's a rough lifestyle. I mean, you play all hours of the day sometimes, you, you have no fixed schedule, um, you're on the road a lot, so I mean it's a tough way to make a living. You know, it seems glamorous on TV, but it's, it's not an easy way to make a living, especially, you know, if you don't have income outside of poker, then it can make it tough. Maybe it's my search for some sort of immortality because, you know, I've, I've had businesses that I wanted to pass down to my children that were unsuccessful. And, you know, now I'm 40, midlife crisis type of thing. I want to really do something that I can make a claim stake. We spend our weekends together, 
Friday, Friday to Sunday, that's family time. I don't play poker on weekends, um, unless it's a major tournament. And um, I spend about maybe um, 10 to 15 days playing poker a month. And the rest of the time, it's family. You know, I I would sometimes take ten days off, one stretch, spend time, bring her out to, you know, do something. I figured if I sacrificed enough and I suffered enough from my craft, uh, it was going to have to pay back. So, uh, and, and that's basically my philosophy. It kills their family life. It, it ruins marriages. It separates dads from their kids. Um, it's just not a good thing. I mean, you know, if you get lucky in a poker tournament for five days and you win a million dollars, put the money in the bank. You know, nothing says you gotta you gotta go play pro. I mean, think of it as a lottery ticket that you just won. It's not like you would start playing the lottery as a professional if you won the lottery. No, you take the money and you go do something interesting with it, or you put it in the bank, or pay off your house, or or invest it wisely. But you wouldn't go buy another hundred thousand or three hundred thousand lottery tickets hoping to win the lottery again. Millions of people all over the world play internet poker.